Good morning, students. Welcome. It's Monday, November the 16th. We have a beautiful day today. It's quite lovely outside. Uh, students, this is Mr. Benavides, and this is Cesar Chavez Middle School's morning announcements for everybody. So right now, I'm going to start and share my screen so we can get through our announcements. And then students, remember, it is an asynchronous Monday, and I'll go over that in just a little bit when we go over the calendar. So students, today is Monday. It's an asynchronous Monday and it is a regular school week. So we have periods one, three, and five tomorrow, periods two, four, and six on Wednesday, and then one, three, and five, and two, four, six the rest of the week. But today, after advisory class students, you do have independent work time. And I do wanna go over some of the things that we expect you to do today. So first off, you always can go to student links and find the applications that you need for today. For example, Khan Academy is right here on student links. And let's see how we did last week 
with our MAP Math Accelerator. So here we go. The MAP Accelerator progress by grade for the last seven days. Seventh graders. The seventh graders only had 14 minutes on Friday, but today they had 20. That means that the seventh grade students did quite a bit of work this weekend. Congratulations, seventh graders. Sixth graders, thank you. You're steady. You were at 19 or 20 minutes on Friday, but got to keep working throughout the weekend. And eighth graders, expectations are very high for you, eighth graders. Last week, you did really well. This week, you slipped a little. So I expect big things from the eighth grade this week. So congratulations to the seventh grade class. They did great last week on MAP Accelerator. Thank you, seventh graders. Now, also on student links, students, you will find Lexia Power Up. And one of the things that we need to do is if you haven't signed up already for Lexia, you need to go to the Lexia Power Up application, you click on it, you log in using your regular login for school. You take the three tests that you need to get entered into the Lexia system. Now, here's our progress from Lexia from last week. We have 607 students. So far, we have 390 students who are using the program. 96 sixth graders, 128 seventh graders, and 166 eighth graders. So sixth grade students, today you need to log in to Lexia, take the test that will place you, and then work on your language arts skills. And I wanna thank the 213 students from last week who are working on their language arts skills. Thank you so much for logging in and doing your work. Also students, the Youth Truth Survey is over this Friday, November 25th. So please, if you haven't done so already, please take the survey today. And I'm gonna send you an email with a link, this link right here to the survey. It takes about 20 minutes for you to finish the survey and you are sharing your ideas with the school. We wanna hear your ideas. So thank you students for doing that. And of course you can find the link to the Youth Truth Survey in your Google Classroom for sixth grade, seventh grade and eighth grade. Seventh grade students, remember you need to have the Tdap vaccination on record here at the school. If you have questions, if you're a seventh grade student and your parents have questions about whether or not the school has a record of your Tdap vaccination, call the school at 761-7699. We will look through our records and we'll let you know if you need to get the vaccine. Okay? So that's for seventh graders. It's for the Tdap vaccination. Today is a Monday. And that means that you can get your Chromebook repaired or replaced at Rolling Hills Middle School. They're open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So students, if you're having any issues with your Chromebook, today is the day where you wanna take it to Rolling Hills Middle School between the hours of 9 a.m. and 12, okay? Students, your book is accepting pictures. Send your pictures to Jessica Castillo at pvusd.net. Play your part in being part of our annual yearbook, okay? Okay, it's a Monday, so I wanna review our school mission and vision statement with you students. Remember, our school is a safe, secure, and welcoming environment that provides a collaborative and rigorous academic setting. Our school provides opportunities and for students and staff to innovate, take risks, 
and learn from both success and failure. Our school stresses the importance of character and how the development of a person's character helps a person live a more successful and fulfilling life. Yes. Remember students, our word for the month is gratitude. It is a character strength of heart. It means to appreciate what you have been given. And last week we went over why does gratitude matter? I wanna review those with you today. Gratitude opens the door to more relationships. Gratitude improves your physical health. Gratitude improves your psychological health. Oops, sorry. Gratitude enhances empathy and reduces aggression. Grateful people sleep better. Gratitude improves your self-esteem. And the final reason, gratitude increases your mental strength, okay? So a 2006 study published in Behavior Research and Therapy found that Vietnam War veterans with higher levels of gratitude experience lower rates of post-traumatic stress disorder. A 2003 study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that gratitude was a major contributor to resilience following the terrorist attacks on September 11th. Recognizing all that you have to be thankful for, even during the worst times, fosters resilience. And we're going through a tough time. So students practicing gratitude is gonna help you get through this pandemic and this distance learning. Great, just, the, just food for thought. Now, it is time for our students of the week. Let's start with Mr. Ulrich's class. Who does Mr. Ulrich wanna recognize? His beautiful young daughter, Avia Poppy Ulrich. She is Mr. Ulrich's student of the week. Congratulations, Avia. Mr. Banwell would like to recognize Leslie Carrizoza Fernandez. Mr. Miss, Miss Bassor would like to say thank you to Emily Sandoval and Angel Roman. Coach Bishop wants to say thank you to Kaylee Lopez, Samantha Guzman, and Anthony Lomelli. Mr. Bachman says thank you, Eduardo Pedrosa Juarez and Damian Mora. Coach Castillo would like to recognize Emmanuel Perez Sahogun, Rosa Rocha Alvarez, and Aaron Bernabe Garcia. Coach Church would like to say thank you to Allison Lopez and Destiny Salazar. Coach Dimitrovich would like to say thank you to Tonali Mesa Lopez and Nathan Solis. Good job, you guys. Ms. Guerrero would like to say thank you to Edwin Padilla Garcia, Marina Zapeta Vizcarra, and Anthony Zavala Garcia. Ms. Halbig would like to say thank you to Yadani Lopez Ramirez, Gabriel Morris Her Morales Hernandez, and Natalia Araiza Sanchez. Mr. Heisinger would like to recognize the following students, Anthony Ta Tayahua Medina and Star Gonzalez Arenas. Ms. Hilker would like to say thank you to Owen Wamadam, Jesus Lopez and Isaiah Marmalejo. Mr. James would like to say thank you so much to Jorge Cisneros Villalobos and Mr. Lopez wants to recognize Brian Aguilar, Brian Lara, and Jose Solis. Ms. Mon, our coding teacher, would like to say thank you to Leslie Carrizozo Fernandez, Roman Torres, and Jack Chagoya. Mr. Martin, yes, Mr. Martin would like to say thank you to Jonathan Avalos Bernabe, Jacqueline Alvarez Zavala, and Melina Chavez. Ms. Musseter wants to recognize Janira Contreras Paniawa, Juliana Ruiz Mesa, and Julian Romero. Mr. Navarro wants to say thank you to Joseph Flores Ortega. Ms. Oda says, Juan Medina, Alexis Bernal, thank you for making up multiple missing assignments. Mr. Pasalakis, our choir teacher, wants to recognize Marina 
Zepeda Vizcarra, Angel Padilla Pimentel, and Jacqueline Diaz Tapia. Great job. Ms. Petal would like to say thank you to Destiny Salazar, Eric Escutia, Brian Guzman, and Kevin Rodriguez. Thank you. Mr. Prusinowski wants to say great job. Caleb Duarte Pedraza and Carlos Esparza Sedano. Mr. Ricci would like to say good job. Areli Munoz Cortez and Griselda Cruz. Mr. Ruiz says Anthony Nolomelli. Good job. Ms. Skipper, Eber Diaz, Juan Pablo Tapia, thank you for doing your work. Ms. Sotorello wants to recognize Haley Rosales, Edith Martinez, Carlos Estrada, and Natalie Perez in art. And Mr. Stefanov says, these students went above and beyond with their MAP Accelerator last week. Brian Aguilar Diaz, Lorena Cabrera, Emilio Gomez Lopez, Angel Padilla Pimentel, Uriel Murillo Salcedo, and Destiny Salazar Cadena. Wow. And Mr. Shigarek would like to say, Emily Sandoval, thank you for doing all your work. Good job, students. Now, students, who will be our students of the week? Are you guys ready? Let me see if I have my sound on. Okay, we get three winners a week. We have 438 entries. Of course, if you've been student of the week more than once, you're on here more than once. So you've got more, a, a really good chance to win. So first winner today for student of the week. Congratulations to Roman Torres. Roman Torres, congratulations. I think you were just put on it this week and you won. So thank you. Next person, student of the week. Lucy Cervantes, you're a big winner this week. Mr. Rooney's going to make a prize pack for you. Okay, Lucy? Great job. Okay, final winner for the week, students. Jonathan Vasquez. Great job, Jonathan. Congratulations. Okay, students. One more thing, right? Birthday. Today's November the 16th, and we want to wish a happy birthday to... Happy birthday to Catherine C., a sixth grade student in Miss Petal's class. Catherine... I hope you have a great day today. It's a beautiful day to have a birthday. So happy birthday, Catherine. Students, enjoy your day. Make sure that you do your asynchronous work today. That means you're going to Khan Academy, Map Accelerator. You're going to Lexia Power Up and doing your Lexia work. And you're finishing, if you have not done so already, the student survey for the Youth Truth Survey. Students, staff, have a great day. See you tomorrow at this time. Bye, everybody.